Hello, um, my name is Ryan Leader. I am a Northamptonshire writer and an associate artist here at Made in Corby and Wellingborough. This is the first of five videos in which I'm going to talk you through how you, right at home, can create your very own piece of creative writing. Um, I'm going to lay out the entire process for you to follow and I've broken that up into five videos, as I said, so there will be one step per video for you to follow along with. Um, at the end of the five videos, you will have created your own piece of text and I will as well. I'll be following along with this process the entire time to give you kind of a visual aid, but also so that if the instructions are in any way confusing or unclear, you can see it literally taking place in practice. So without further ado, let's get started. So your first task is going to be producing 300 to 500 words of text. And to give a little help with that, I've given you this little prompt here to start with. In a future, I'd like to see. So just write that down on a piece of paper if you'd like to do this by hand or in a Word document if you'd rather do it on your laptop or computer or tablet. However you want to do it is absolutely fine. But just start with the phrase, in the future, I'd like to see and then try to um, follow your instincts, you know, write down what you're thinking and don't worry about it sounding too, um, it doesn't need to be pretty, it doesn't need to be a wonderful piece of writing, just write down anything that interests you and that springs to mind. Try to be very true to what your thought process is in response to that and just keep going for five, 10, 15 minutes, however long it takes until you have 300 to 500 words in a nice block of text. So just like I have here, I did the task earlier and that was the block of text that I came up with. Um, if you are uncomfortable with the idea of using your own words for this, that's absolutely fine. I have a nice little alternative for you. Or if you're someone who is comfortable using words but wants to try a different process, this is something you can try as well. And what I want you to do is I want you to find 300 to 500 words in a pre-existing text. Um, and the more mundane, the more bizarre, the more um, silly that is, I guarantee the more fun you will have and the better piece of writing you'll have at the end. So uh, write down everything on the side of a tin of beans. Write down the uh, first page of a the manual you, for your toaster, whatever it may be. Um, I have decided, uh, I'll just scroll down and show you here, to use the About Us page from the Made in Corby website. So 400 words there of, uh, I don't know, I'm just very excited to see kind of what I could do with that. So I copy that, uh, put it into normal text, just in a block of text on the document. And now, yeah, uh, and now it's ready for the next step of the process, which we'll be exploring in video two. And so that's it. Uh, that is your task for this video to produce or find 300 to 500 words of text. And that is that is means you've completed step one. There are four more to go, which we'll be exploring again in four more videos after this. And by the end of it, you'll have produced your very own piece of creative writing, which reflects your creativity. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you produce. Um, so if you'd like to continue with the process, carry on with video two.